Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I'm here just um, checking in behind the scenes. I've been led to use the situations deck for this reading, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you to those of you who sing along with me, you guys, to my intro. Thank you so much for that. I love you. I just found out about that yesterday. I'm still really excited about it, okay? <laughs> I um I because I didn't think you guys were doing it like I I never thought you did that and all of a sudden I'm I'm seeing hundreds of people saying that they sing along with me and I think that is the coolest thing ever so thank you so much okay anyway um thank you for all of my subscribers thank you thank you welcome to everyone new here I'm Mammy Becca keep the nicknames coming you guys I love them you guys rock um all right so spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today messages for my collective today this is present energy okay you could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities that somebody wants to come back around and i feel like it's it's like a matter of days it says projected days, weeks, or months, but I feel like it's getting really close for you to be seeing all of these signs, I, I, I have to say. Um, this could be causing you a lot of, like, anxiety, worry. Um, you know, when I see signs about my person, I always see, like... Um, you know, I'm watching a movie or a TV show and some other character in that show has their name. And it's mentioned over and over and over again to the point where I have to turn the channel and then a commercial will come on where somebody says my person's name and then I'll turn the channel and then I'll see their name like in a title. Okay, it's crazy, you guys. Um, seriously, I get... I get their actual name being being said to me over and over and over again. Um, anytime, like, and there's been people who, from my past, who have tried to call, tried to text. I'll always get some kind of warning sign before it happens, okay? Um, and uh, so that could be happening to you. You could be seeing a lot of repetitive numbers, Okay, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, a lot of the number eights, that's someone coming back around to you, okay? You're seeing signs in nature as well. I'm getting something about birds and crows, either black birds or crows, okay? Um, you could be hearing songs on the radio, um, and you can feel your person's energy through the songs. That's a big one. Uh, you may even be getting a lot of vivid dreams about this person, okay? Because the closer they get to coming forward to and talking to you, the more signs you're going to get. And I feel like it's going to just start getting, it's going to start getting really loud, okay? Like um, maybe car alarms are going off a lot or um, a lot of horns honking a lot, things like that. Yeah, see, because they're about to chase after you, okay? <laughs> they're going to be in hot pursuit of you. They're coming, all right? And this is going on presently. So today, you could be seeing a lot of signs specifically today because I feel like, honestly, I feel like they're only a matter of days away from approaching you. Okay, this, they may even approach you today. Okay, they may approach you sometime this weekend. But this person wants to talk. They are playing with my throat chakra too, so, huh. yeah. Yeah, and you're done though. You're done. Because this person went, they could have gotten married to somebody else. They could have had a family with someone else. You could have found out that they recently had a baby with someone else. Okay? And you're like, I've had enough. I can't take this anymore, man. I can't keep thinking about this connection, wondering, is this person, how, what are they thinking about me? What are they feeling about me? Are they coming back around? I've just, I'm done. That's the energy that you're in. And I feel like you've completed a cycle. You're to the point where you're healed enough to move forward without crying a million tears. You know what I'm saying? 
you're releasing them. And I feel like you're, um, you're trying to focus on brighter days in your future. But when this person is pulling on your energy and you're seeing all of these signs, something like stops you and makes you turn your head. Do you see this? It makes you turn your head like, okay, wait a minute. This is weird because I'm, I'm getting all of these signs around me. I'm hearing their name being mentioned all over the place, you know? Like, it's, it's like this, it's just so many signs you can't ignore. You're getting so many signs that you can't ignore. This person is on their way back. But it's also making you um, feel like you want to avoid this. Okay, I feel like you just want to avoid it. Yeah, look, you're like, I'll focus on something else. <laughs> yeah, you distract yourself with other things, which is great. You know, you're, you want to maintain that high vibe. Okay, and that's what you're doing. You know, but this is this is saying maybe this isn't a good time for this person to come in. It's also telling me that you are trying to avoid contact with them, you know. And that's why they're in hot pursuit. This is now, now you're the runner and they're the chaser, okay. Yes, and they're about to chase after you. But yeah, see, I feel like they've, they could have recently had a had a baby or they, they there's some children that are involved in this okay so whether it's that you have children with this person or they you could have just found out that they've had a baby with somebody else you know and at that point you're like forget it like there's a part of you that i feel like you know that you were hopeful that this person would eventually come back around and do the right thing by you. You know, at one point, you wanted this, okay? But now, things are different. And now that this person has invested so much into someone else instead of you, n now it's to the point where when they do come back in, it's making you like, I don't know if I want this. This isn't a good time for me. Don't do this now. This right now is not a good time for me. I, I, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to move forward here. I'm working on other things. I'm focusing on my abundance. Look at the glitter box of popcorn, right? I'm focusing on all of my abundance. I'm taking time for me. You distract yourself when, um, when you start thinking about this person or you start feeling anxiety because they're coming forward. You can feel it. You can feel it. You're getting all of the signs here. Like you, you at this point, you know this person is on their way back. You just don't know when they're going to show up. And that alone is going to give you anxiety because you don't want to be caught off guard. You don't, maybe you don't want any more surprises from anybody right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you want to feel prepared, but now is not a good time for you to even begin to prepare for this communication. It's like, you just don't, you're done. You don't want to deal with this. And I feel like too, you're disgusted because this person started a family or um, committed or created a baby with somebody else. Yeah, see? You're like, I'm done. That's it. Yeah, see? You know? I feel like you know they're coming back around, but you, you're avoiding contact. You don't even want to look this person in the eye. Okay? You're an empress energy here, focused on your on your money, building your finances, your business, working really hard, putting in long hours, okay? Building up your solid foundation, and you want a new beginning. That's what you want. You could be starting a new project here. This is like solar plexus kind of energy, too. Yeah, and this person, they've had, there's been no action no communication, um, no contact for possibly years. It's been crickets chirping, and now all of a sudden they want to come back in when you're abundant and stable and growing something for yourself. I feel like you also know that they've been watching you. 
so you can feel them watching you like you know all of this it's almost like spirit is alerting you or activating something inside you that's telling you that this person is on their way back okay and it's giving you like this i don't i don't want to talk about this right now kind of energy okay drop me a comment give me a confirmation for whoever this is for okay <laughs> yeah and this triggers your person that's what triggers them is the fact that you're pulling away you're detaching and you're saying i don't want this anymore that energy that you're in wanting to like because you're now the runner you're avoiding contact with this person like honestly the feeling that i'm getting from you is that you don't know how you're gonna feel when you see them you don't know you know i mean what if they do like trigger emotions in you again you don't know if you want to feel that again because you this person broke your heart you don't know how you're going to react to seeing them again. You could, they could trigger anger in you at the drop of a hat just by the sight of them because of what they've done. You don't know. They don't know how you're going to react, and you don't know how you're going to react. And I feel like you just don't want to deal with that right now. You don't want any surprises, you know? You're like on a roll with your life. And when it, and that energy, that energy that you're giving off that energy, okay, they can sense it. And this is what's triggering this person to come in really quickly. That's why I'm that's why you're getting so many signs. That's why projected future is out here. It says days. I feel like it's gonna be a matter of days before this person be well, like it's gonna be a matter of days and they're gonna just show up. Okay, and you don't want that. You don't want to be surprised by this person. You know, I feel like your life has been peaceful now, right? It's been you be you're hitting a peaceful time in your life right now. And you, you just don't want to shake up again. And you don't want your emotions to be shaken up again. You know, but they're coming. That's the, that's the energy that triggers this person to feel like they're ready to explode. Okay, I don't feel like they're raging. I don't feel like they're angry. I feel like they're ready to pop. And they're, they want to come in and confess how they feel to you. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is all about wanting to take action. They're triggered to take that action and turn into the chaser in hot pursuit of you. And this is current energy that you're picking up on too. Uh, they, can, they can feel you saying, I don't want this. And boom, they want to come in. All right, they want to come forward. Meanwhile, you're trying to stay in control of your emotions. Okay, you're, you may even be feeling irritated with all of the signs around you because you know that they're approaching. Okay, and you just don't know how to prepare yourself for something like this. Because it's been a long time since you've seen this person in person, face to face. And you, it's almost like, looking at the one who hurt you so deeply in the eye how is that what kind of emotions is that going to stir up in you and i feel like you just don't want to deal with that right now right now you just you just want to bathe in your peace okay see what i'm saying but they are going to be coming and begging yeah it's that emotion that overflow of emotion you can feel it off of them. They can feel it off of you. They may be concerned about how they're going to handle the situation because they know they're going to have to beg. And you, um, you don't know how you're going to feel when you look at this person in the eye because they hurt you so badly in the past. You, don't, you also don't want to open up any old wounds. You're, um, you've been in the process of healing. And you don't want to go backwards, right? You want to continue to keep moving forward. So I feel like um, 
I feel like you do need to kind of, I don't know, prepare yourself. What I would do, honestly, is I would look in the mirror and I would, I would maybe um, try to imagine that it's them and, and maybe just that initial shock of seeing them again. How is that going to make me feel? Do you know what I mean? I would try to prepare myself for like, because I, I, I really honestly, um, you're feeling strong and confident and healed and peaceful now. But when you when you have this person right in front of you, it may be a different story. And I feel like you just don't want to stir up all that all those old wounds. OK, you don't want to open old wounds. Right. So there's a little bitty part of you that almost fears seeing this person again because you don't know what just seeing them will do to you because I feel like you really genuinely love them and they really deeply hurt you and you've done so much to heal from that and you've done so well and you've come so far and you're just, you don't ever want to feel that pain again. Not even if it's for an instant. But they're coming in. So they're coming, and I feel like you know they're coming. And it's giving you a lot of anxiety, okay? All right, what, what can I tell the collective here? What advice or... Yeah, see, I feel like you're you're kind of wanting to let this end, but when with this card out here, I'm really getting the sense that they don't want it over. To them, this isn't over. To them, there's a possibility that maybe it could just be a new beginning. Okay? To you, you're letting it end and you want it you it's almost like you just want it to end peacefully. Can it just fizzle out? You know what I mean? Um, and it's been hard because you've been in stagnancy for so long. But now, uh, like this fresh wind is blowing in, right? Um, I feel like you're being guided to keep moving. Keep You've always been guided to just keep moving forward. Stay in your own lane, right? Just focus on your stuff, right? That's what you've been guided to do. And I feel like that's what you want to keep doing because you, you're doing really well. You're doing really, really well out here. When it comes to your healing and building your solid foundation, you have done so good, Collective. And I, I feel like what you need to do now is just stop what you're doing and either clap for yourself or give yourself a pat on the back because you really have come a long ways. And this is telling me that you don't want to go backwards. You don't want to go backwards because to you, what's back there is already gone and over. Okay? But man, they, it's like you know they're coming back around. You know they're coming back around. Yeah, see, this person is being led straight back to you. Here they come. Here they come, Collective, I'm telling you. And they're coming in very fast. Like I said, it could be a matter of days. It could be even today. Okay? Um, I feel like your level of anxiety is going to tell you the closer they get to you, the more they make you feel. That's, that's the song I'm hearing. That's the song, the closer I get to you, the more you make me feel, right? I don't know who sings it, but that's the song I'm getting. Yeah, the closer they get to you, the more they make you feel, and you can feel it, <laughs> you can feel it, okay? It's going to be like, it could be any day, it could be any minute, and that's another thing that's giving you anxiety, because you don't want any more surprises, especially when it comes to love, you know? But yeah, just get ready. This person too, I feel like they're being divinely led back to you. And you are getting a lot of clear signs of exactly who this is that's coming back around. So try to prepare yourself 
for your own reaction to this because I, I feel like you just, you don't know how it's going to feel to lay eyes on this person again who hurt you so, so deeply that it could have taken you years to recover from that. All right, so anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope I really do hope it helps, and I hope this resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you, and peace out.